It is an honor to be here today among you all representing the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, based in Rome. Nigeria has been a long-standing partner uh, with IFAD. It is one of our most important member states um, in Africa and in the region. And I would like to begin by expressing my deep compassion and solidarity with each of you and the people of Nigeria in the wake of the recent devastating floods. These floods have wiped out livelihoods and they've wiped out lives. These floods show the increasing importance in today's complex world of finding solutions for investment in climate adaptation so that we can protect against such devastating impacts of potential future floods or future extreme weather events. IFAD has been a strong partner with Nigeria for our entire history uh, since our founding in 1977. With the SAPZ project, we will have reached 700 million US dollars of direct investment with Nigeria and with co-financing 1.2 billion dollars with our partners in Nigeria. We are focused on building rural resilience, building rural communities where people can grow, produce small-scale agriculture, and improve those outputs along the value chain to have rural, sustainable, vibrant communities. We know that food is not just the future, food is the present. Investing in food is investing in our present and in our future. And I think that the current global food crisis has made this apparent to every person in every nation today. IFAD has, in response to the recent floods and in recognition of our long-standing partnership with the government of Nigeria, scaled up our support to dry season farming to help the people of Nigeria produce additional food in the historic dry season where less food has been traditionally produced. I am also delighted to announce today a special new significant contribution by IFAD for Nigeria in response to the flooding. This is a grant funding of almost $5 million to be invested in climate resilient agriculture. This grant funding will help us to work with partners in the VCDP program to climate proof the projects so that we're better protected from future floods as well as future droughts. This can include work such as planting trees to decrease erosion and building small dams as well as irrigation channels to um, cabin flood water as well as retain that water for small irrigation during the dry season. With these two major programs of dry season farming and this climate resilient grant, we stand with our long-standing partners in Nigeria to combat the effect of the floods and build further rural resilience. It's an honor to be here today for the launch of the SAPZ project. I think that the presence of His Excellency the Vice President in our midst shows the importance of this project to all of us. IFAD is honored to be a partner with um, the Republic of Nigeria as well as the African Development Bank and Islamic Development Bank in this program. We are proud that our investment will contribute directly to the incomes of 100,000 small farmers and food producers in Nigeria. We believe that there is importance to have a strong focus on youth and women smallholder farmers and producers in particular, while also bringing in the private sector and others in the 4P model, which we use the public-private producer partnerships to make sure that these investments are sustainable and long-standing. The SAPZ project is a game changer. We believe that investment in food and food production is imperative for today, 
and investment in food and food production is imperative for our future. We are honored to work with the Republic of Nigeria to support this game-changing project. I wish everyone involved in the project all success. May God bless you. May God bless the people of Nigeria. Thank you.